In FemDesign 17, it is now possible to define company settings. You can find the import company settings and export company settings in the FemDesign control panel. In the company settings export, the settings and libraries dialog contains a list of the most popular items to export. But you can also use add to select more files to export, for example, templates. Once exported, the batch of settings and files can be imported using the import company settings command. You can drag and drop files directly into FemDesign. Drag and drop works for all FemDesign input file types, including strxml and dwg. Upon right-clicking on any layer, all elements belonging to that layer will blink. This works both for objects and drawing layers. It is now possible to manually renumber objects in FemDesign. You can manually set the number of any object that has a position number by setting it in the tool window and then selecting the object. It is also possible to modify the position number of an object that is component of another object. For example, edge connections, corbels, or post-tension cables. Just click on Select Component option. You can also select how to handle position number conflicts in the drop-down list. Renumbered elements can be highlighted. The refresh numbering and lock numbering that are known from the previous version are now moved into the numbering command. The reference plane is an auxiliary object that allows you to align elements to it. It can be found in the Structure tab in the Structure Grid panel. Reference planes can be drawn in any plane and can be used with the feature Align Region to Plane and Correct Model Tool to fit structural objects to it. There is a new tool in Modify Region called Align Region to Plane. You can now use this to align regions to plane of other regions or structure grids using two functions, pick reference plane or plane by three points. It is now possible to get the global unique ID for an object in FemDesign. For structural objects, it's possible to get the global unique ID for both the analytical model and physical. It is possible to select more objects at a time and get all the unique IDs. It is also possible to copy the select global unique IDs to clipboard. It is now possible to check and edit the properties of elements using the properties command in the quick menu. It works for almost all elements that have any properties. And as well as for reinforcement. It is now possible to add cambier simulation to beams, columns, and profile panels to get the right deflections. A new camber simulation by pre-stressing field can be activated and you can enter the total force and the eccentricity in Y and Z direction. In case of profile panels, the total force per element and vertical eccentricity should be input. A new load case type called camber by simulation has to be input. You can also set a color palette according to this parameter. It is now possible to select no shear edges when creating a wall. 
These will be created on the bottom of the wall according to predefined data. The edge connection is created as a predefined type. The edge connection type for a no shear edge is called no shear. In FemDesign 17, the wall corbel is located in the shell component dropdown. You can use the corbel to get the right eccentricities in the wall. In the general tab, all the geometrical parameters are located. In the connection tab, you can set the stiffness for each direction and set a plastic limit force. In the material tab, you select the material for the corbel. With the notional load feature, it is possible to convert vertical loads to horizontal loads and use them in seismic calculations, for example. You can edit the notional load case name and manually set the conversion factor and the factors for each load case. By default, four load cases in four directions will be generated, but you can decide yourself what directions to be considered. In Settings, Calculation Analysis, you can select to find identical copies before calculation for structural elements and for loads. In case some objects are found, you have the option to delete them, calculate without deleting, or cancel calculation so you can investigate them manually. In the Calculations menu under Analysis, you can now select the diaphragm calculation to be fully rigid. The rigid diaphragm provides a rigid body behavior where the structure moves together in all directions. The rigid diaphragm provides a rigid body behavior where the structure moves together in all directions. It is now possible to add to documentation the load combination setup. You can do that in the Setup by Loads combination window or in Documentation by Listing Tables. In FemDesign 17, the displacement results will be categorized as translational displacements and rotational displacements. The translational displacements will replace the FemDesign 16 displacements result and will now be available in color palette as well. The rotational displacement is new and will be displayed as color palette. The Display Options dialog allows you to see the results in Absolute Value, Predefined Direction, Objects Local System, Parallel with Line, and Perpendicular to Plane. A new feature in FemDesign 17 allows you to calculate the shear center of each story. After performing an Icon Frequencies calculation, you will be able to display the shear center on your structure. The mass result has now been split into nodal masses and total level masses. The nodal masses will show the masses for every node on the story. The total level masses will show the total mass for every story and for the whole structure. The coordinates of the mass can be displayed in the tooltip and can be listed into the documentation. The reinforcement and section drawings from the RC bar detailed results can now be exported to AutoCAD. Steel joints are now available in Filter. 
so you can filter joints by identifier. Each joint type now has its own library. When defining a joint, you have the option to tick the box Select Joint from Library. After you've selected the member components and a solution, you will be redirected to the library of that solution. In the standalone version, you go to Joint Library and load the saved joint solution. The library can be used for different projects as well. It can be transferred through the company settings. In FemDesign 17, you can now verify the anchorage tension resistance. Three types of bars are available. Straight, bended and headed. You can now see the normal and shear forces for each anchor and maximum concrete stresses. You can verify the straight and bended bars for adhesive failure resistance. And you can verify the headed anchors loaded in tension for pullout failure, concrete cone failure, splitting failure and blowout failure. In FemDesign 17, shear resistance is calculated for column-based joints according to Eurocode. The calculation from the Danish National Annex for combined shear and axial stresses is carried out in FemDesign 17 and can be added to the documentation by list tables, RC design, load combinations, shell evaluation of in-plane stresses. A new checking criterion is added for RC shells according to Eurocode 92 Annex F. This feature is meant to inform you whether the shell reinforcement is optimal or not. The results can be listed in the RC design for load combinations, maximum of load combinations, and maximum of load groups. It is now possible to list a table with all the used sections and their properties by list table, structure, sections. It is possible to list steel joint utilization according to load combinations and maximum of load combinations. In FemDesign 16, you could only open one template and apply it to your documentation. It is now possible to add templates and insert them after the last existing documentation item. This is possible with Templates Append. It is possible to hide the sections and the items in documentation by ticking the box right beside it in the Sections panel. If hidden, the sections will be listed, but they are not displayed, which can speed up the documentation module. Help FemDesign Support launches a support dialog that you can use to submit your support case. Here you can select your preferred response type via email or via phone or TeamViewer. You can attach the current file, the current result file, and you can add extra files like PDFs or screenshots. The Help button opens a document explaining how to use the dialog and some tips on how to use screenshots or step recorder. You can fill in your contact data here, enter a description, and send to support.